hello and thanks for tuning into my channel we are going to be doing a what's in my alma pm right here she's old 18 years old as a matter of fact same age as my son my second oldest so let's get right to this video though so i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like right now this is her <laughs> it's a lot of stuff in there and I'm going to try to hold it like this and get this stuff out. That way you guys can see me actually pull the stuff out of the bag. And it doesn't look like it's just coming from nowhere. Let me get comfortable. Okay. So, my phone case. I have a 10X Max. My AirPod case from the Dollar Tree. Because y'all know that's one of my favorite stores. Sorry for that noise. Babe is sitting right across from me in the lounge chair playing the video game. So you might hear him. What? Next is <laughs> my lotion. It's some um, Chanel lotion. Oops, upside down. All right. And this is what it looks like now. So I have my pocket agenda, which I also use as a wallet and an agenda. So here I have it where you can um, I have my cards and then I have my agenda and some of my cash envelopes that I keep my, um, my ones, fives, dog food, spending money, things like that. Y'all, my son just came in the house, right? What is that on your hands? Oh. Come here. Come here. Please oh. come here. Sure. I don't know how you're going to get over here, but I want y'all to see all this soap he got on his hands. Don't. No, hold it up. Why would he do this? Like, why would you do that? <laughs> Go rinse your hands off. And that's not soap. I heard you spraying something. So what'd you spray? Some of it soap and I sprayed it two times. Spray what soap? Y'all, nine-year-olds. Let me see what soap thing you talking about. Because there's no soap in the kitchen that sprays. Oh, my Dawn soap? That's not hand soap. That's dish soap. Y'all. Always count on him to come do something while I'm recording a video. Okay, but anyhow. Okay, it's over. I'm recording a video. Thank you. So, this is <laughs> what's left in the bag. And I have it unzipped um, all the way. So it opens up pretty wide. Pack of gum. My Karagami set. And inside that, I keep my small one. And it has my medical cards and things of that nature in it. I just signed up for Instacart not too long ago. Because I am really thinking about quitting my job. Because they playing with me. And I'm not the one. You're not going to work me over and then all week. And then send me home early so I don't get no overtime. You want me to work over, pay me. When they say mandatory overtime, that means mandatory pay. So you want me to stay late, but you don't want to pay me. Mm -mm. Next, I have, um, this was in my passport. It was in my, um, y'all, my mind be going blank on me. Like, I do not know why. It was in my, nev <laughs> it goes to my, okay, rewind. The pouch that goes to my Neverfull was in my purse this morning. I took it out. And I left the passport in my purse. Why? Well, I don't know. Oh, probably because I was going to put it back in here. That's probably why. I'm sitting here like, why is the passport in my purse? Like, I ain't going nowhere. All right, so stick that in there. Next, I just have some Kleenex. This is my favorite little Kleenex to buy because if you have a purse pocket inside of your purse, it can fit down in there. However, it will not fit in either pocket inside of this bag. This is the old version, Alma. So I just have the cell phone pocket and the small opening right there. All right, next I have my coupon book because I don't ever want to be in the grocery store one day and don't have my coupons. So I carry that around. Wipes, wet one wipes. Well, I have so many wipes in my bag, I don't know. My first aid kit is just some, um, some Advil. 
some antibacterial wipes basically, some Alka-Seltzer, some Advil PMs, um, you know, just for pain meds in case, you know, got a headache, some Excedrin. I'm trying to see what else is in What is this one? Oh, some more Advil. So that is that. And I'm still pulling stuff out and y'all can't see the opening. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next is my coin purse. And it's just coins in here, nothing major. Um, another kit. So in this, it's a bunch of wipes. So I have some Summer's Eve wipes, some Tide to go wipes. Some more wet ones wipes. Why well, I have so many wet wipes, I have no idea. And yeah, that's just wet wipes and Tide and some of these wipes. So that is what's in here. I'm getting down to the bottom. All right, next is, I don't know why I have so many wipes. Some hand cleaning wipes. Some eyelash glue. I was going to do my eyelashes at work today, but I didn't get time to do them. So, oh, and here's the lashes. My favorite pair. Oh, wait, no, these are not my favorite pair. These are just some I was going to throw on. These are Andrea 90s. I like 92s. I love those. Some lip gloss. I don't know why I have so much lip gloss in here. Some Joann's coupons that I really need to go through because I believe one expired already. All right, and some more hand lotion because depending on how ashy my hands is, I like using a lot of this because, as y'all know, that Chanel lotion is not cheap. I mean, I don't know. Some people may feel like with my income, I shouldn't buy it, but you only live once, so I'm going to buy what I like. As long as I have the money for it and I know I got some money in the bank, I'm going to buy it. Next is the back to a pop socket that came off my phone. Which, oh, it got shattered. I need to glue that on or something. I don't know. Then I have my cosmetic pouch. I don't have a lot of stuff in it. My favorite palette. Like, I'm not a makeup artist, but can y'all see? I try. <clears throat> my Dior pal uh, palette. And I like it because it has the primer. And I love earth tone colors. I love sand colors, browns, reds, and it's so pretty. So I have that, a little uh, Chanel brush, this fell out, so what you call that, mascara, and a little chapstick, I have bought like a three pack of these from the Dollar Tree, I believe, so sometimes I put it on when I know I'm gonna have my mask on. <clears throat> Then I have my brow powder. Wait, is this brow powder? No. These are blotting wipes. I thought this was my Chanel black, uh, <laughs> Chanel brow powder, but it's not. And then I just have a bunch of Chanel lip gloss. Well, this is a lip balm, I believe, that I need to replace because it's almost out. Yeah, it won't go up no more, that's it. And then this is a balm too. But it has a little tint to it. I don't even know why I have so many things in my purse that go on your lips. This is one of my favorites. This is a uh, 72 Rush. And this is the Healthy Glow Lip Balm Light. I have the light in, I think it's like medium or dark, or whatever the color they call it. Good thing it's not in my purse because why do we have so many lip products in our purses? I don't understand. I wish I knew why I carry so much lip stuff in my purse, but I don't know. I don't know why, and I can't explain why. I just have lip stuff in my purse, and sometimes they just always add up, and this is not all, I'm sure. It's probably some more lip stuff somewhere in this bag at the bottom. We shall see. All right, that is that. I'm getting down to the nitty-gritty what I tell y'all more lip products pair of earrings 
I don't know why I'm into pearls. Like, I guess that's when you realize you're starting to get older and you're starting mature to mature. And I'm starting to mess up my words all the time here lately. And I am starting to really love pearls. And it's just some little bitty pearl hoop earrings I got. Well, they're not little, but some pearl hoop earrings I got from the beauty supply that I thought were really pretty. I have this pinkish color sweater and they go so perfectly well with it. They were left in my fiance's car, so I got them out. Next is my mask chain. So you know how old women have their glasses? That little bead on their glasses? Well, it go like this. And it be on their glasses, so when they glasses, they can take them down and they just on their neck. That's how it is for your mask. I thought it was cute. Little bead necklace. Got from the beauty supply. You know, the beauty supply had all the cute stuff. Um... A toothpick for me to do my lashes. I would have been searching. A small hand sanitizer. My, what are you? Apple pencil. <laughs> like I couldn't think of what it was. And a knife. It's still like a multi-purpose thing. I try not to leave home without something like this in my car or in my purse or whatever. I mean, I could put my gun in there too, but I don't have that in there for like safety purposes. But if something was to transpire and I need to shank up, you know, I probably would use that too. If I can get to it, because it's all the way at the bottom of this bag. So I don't know how much good it's going to do me. Um, I went somewhere, all these today, and bought some hand lotions for my mom. She loves Jergen, that cherry almond scent. And they had three, um, about this size. They were like 97 cents. Well, they didn't have three. I bought three. They were 97 cents. So I'm going to mail them to her. And this was just right here in this little pocket. And y'all, when I take out what's next, don't laugh at me, okay? Because I have issues. And when I went to work, I thought I might have to insert one of these so I can go to the bathroom. Because it was like going on eight days of no relief. So anywho. You grown folks know what that is. The tweezers for my lashes. <sighs> Fabric softener sheet. And this is um, Swivetail, I believe. The purple. I can't think of the scent. I buy it all the time. I should know what it is by heart, but I don't. Oh, now I throw it back in there. A cart. Some peppermints from Penn Station. And that is it. I did put my money back right there. And now we're going to do this little pocket. So I got that little um, Instacart card. I went to the bank to get a um, certified check so that I can pay off a debt in full. And I wanted it overnight. It, so I went to Chase. They was like, keep the pen. My key pouch. Some more lip stuff. And this is nuisance by Selma Hayek. I think they discontinued her line of um, cosmetics, but I did love this. Like I told you, I love browns, sandy colors, peaches. Like I love earth tones. And that's what's on my lips. It's like a little, mm, I don't know what that is. Ah, I did eat a little while ago and I wiped my mouth with a napkin. So that's probably what that is. All right. Dropped it. And, oh, some more tweezers. And that is everything that is in my bag. This bag will hold my iPad with the case, which is just like a little, um, you know, those little plastic cases like this that you put your stuff in. It'll hold it with one of those and it zips up fine. I need to try one of them zipper tricks where they like do the, um, wax paper to see if it'll help this zip up but we'll see i'm gonna try it out and let y'all know how that go i mean it zips but you can hear the and you can feel the like it's not smooth like it used to be when you first got it you know like you know it's just an easy zip this one is like hey i'm getting old you're gonna have to show me a little love and patience like, you see what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's not, you know, it's 18. Let's see. 
do believe it's 18. Wait, a lot. Yeah, it is. Oh, three. So my 18 year old was born in 2003 and this is from 2003. So it's 18, like I thought. And April. So it's gonna be 18 next month. My son just made 18 this month on the fourth. Anywho, so now we gotta put that stuff back, y'all. I wish I could see this table. <laughs> it is a mess. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this um what do you call that thing? Cosmetic bag in there first i keep telling my mom i think and i don't want to wish this on me but i'm hoping and praying i don't get like dementia or old alzheimer's or nothing like that because my mind is being fried which she keeps reminding me like hey you did just go through a little somewhat traumatic experience like i had um let me tell y'all a story last month i went to get a colonoscopy because like i said you know my stuff don't move like it's supposed to and i'm getting older now and i know it's the reason why it's hard for me to lose weight because if you're steady eating whether you're eating healthy or not but it's not coming out it's you're just gaining you know you're just gaining weight because it's just sitting there so i'm like okay let me go get this colonoscopy because i was trying to get this prescription for some linen zest and she was like well you know let's do this let's go this route see if your insurance is covered because that little linen zest is not cheap anywho so we do that get the colonoscopy right y'all everything was fine woke up everything was fine felt fine he's like you might not go to the bathroom for three days i'm like dang i already ain't been going to the bathroom now you gonna add three more days on there okay cool so but that night i went to the bathroom and when i went to the bathroom i was scared when I tell you I was scared, I was scared because I had never bled so much through my rectum before. And I'm like, why is there so much blood coming out? Like, Jesus. No, he did a, a colonoscopy, I mean, the biopsy, but I'm like, <coughs> shouldn't be bleeding like that. And with all the blood that was in there, you would have thought blood was leaking out of my rectum. And I would, I should have been wearing a pad, but it was not leaking. It only came out when I went to the bathroom. So... I called the doctor's office and she like, all right, um, no, that's not normal. I need you to go to the hospital. But before she can return my call, you know, you call the nurse, they got to call you back because it's late at night or whatever. Before she can return my call, I went to the bathroom again. Same thing. Bloody situation. And I'm like, I've had two. She like, go to the ER, I go to the ER. Before my procedure, my hemoglobin was a 12. And when I got to the ER, which I shouldn't have went to that particular ER because it's the hood doctor. You know, everybody be like, you're going to die fooling around with that hospital. Everybody got one of those. It wasn't the um, the free hospital, like, you know, the government ran or state ran hospital, whatever. But whatever, whatever. So I get there. They're like, okay, they test my hemoglobin. Now, you would think if I was a 12, I tell you I'm bleeding out of my rectum. And now my hemoglobin is a eight that you would be like, okay, hey, we need to admit her, keep her overnight. She's lost a substantial amount of blood from a biopsy, like, and she's saying it's coming out of her rectum. So they send me home, tell me the doctor said, the colonoscopy doctor said to call him in the morning if the problem persists. Okay. Now, I guess because that doctor doesn't fool with that hospital, he wanted me to be able to be out of that hospital so and go to the hospital he wanted me to go to so he's i don't know i don't know what was his reasoning for not coming to that hospital or whatever the case may be because he's still part of that network so um i go to sleep wake up thinking i'm gonna go to work it's like six o'clock in the morning no 5 30 six o'clock in the morning somewhere around in there go to the bathroom it's bloody again call the doctor back i'm like hey the problem didn't resolve itself I am still bleeding like I've been shot. So he's like, okay, start the prep again. And if you've ever had a, had a colonoscopy, that's eight laxatives, uh, citric magnesium, a whole bottle, um, half a bottle of Miralax. Like you taking a lot of stuff to cleanse you out. And I'm talking about you be clean when you finish taking all them laxatives. So I'm like, start the prep again. Like, dude, I'm trying not to go to the bathroom because every time I go to the bathroom, it's bloody. He's like, well, in order for me to get in and 
clamp you and figure out where you're bleeding from, I need your rectum to be clean. You know, your colon to be clean, whatever. And I'm like, okay. Come to the he like come to the hospital at one o'clock. I'll do the procedure. By eleven o'clock, I went to the toilet. I had already been to the toilet again sixteen times, seventeen times. Well, I remember sitting on the toilet like, oh my god, I'm like really losing a lot of blood when I go to the bathroom. Like this cannot be good. Next thing I know, y'all, I woke up on the floor, pants to my ankles, in a sweat, feet shaking, hands shaking. I had passed out from on the toilet. Like, I called my fiance. I'm like, dude, you ain't hear me hit the floor? He like, no, I got these headphones on. I don't hear nothing, you know, because he's down here playing a video game. I'm like, babe, I have to go to the emergency room. I just fainted. Like, I, I can't move. I'm weak. So I got myself up off the floor, got on the toilet. He came up, helped me clean up, you know, get to the hospital. They admit me because I fainted. <clears throat> well, then the doctor's like, uh, who did the procedure? tells the nurse once I get to the colonoscopy side give her an enema I'm like how much blood does he really want me to lose going to I keep telling y'all every time that I go to the bathroom it's like a blood bath in there like blood is everywhere all in the toilet it's, it's everywhere it's like blood so she gives me the enema I'm talking about she ain't even get halfway or fourth through the enema I'm like I gotta go to the bathroom give me give me to the toilet so I get on that thing and I use it and I get up and she happens to come behind me because she had to dump it and she's like, oh my God, you're really bleeding. Next thing I know, because you know, I still had some hours to wait. Next thing I know, he came in that room. He said, we finna go ahead and take you back right now because we got to see where this blood is coming from. I'm like, thank you. Finally, at 12 o'clock noon the next day. So get in there, clamp me up. I'm fine now, but I did have to have, they wanted me to get a blood transfusion. And I'm like, no, thank you. It's against my religion for one. For two, my cousin had sickle cell anemia. And every time she got a blood transfusion, for the most part, she ended up with a blood infection. So I'm like, no, thank you, sir. Reed, I'm cool. So I did have to get two um, bags of iron through my IV. They gave me one each day because I was hospitalized. End result. My hemoglobin went down, went down from a 12 to a 6.7. And if it went to a 6, I would have literally lost half of my blood supply because of a colonoscopy. So, make a long story short, that's why I haven't really been working. You know, I didn't do too many cash stuff in videos. If you guys watch those, I wasn't working. I couldn't get short-term disability. Can't get unemployment when you're not working if you're not healthy enough to work. And... It was rough, but you know, I was cool. I had a little cushion so I could be all right. So I wasn't really tripping on that. But um, yeah, that's how that went. And you guys saw everything that was in my bag. I'm gonna put a majority of the stuff back except for those lashes, the lash glue, as well as the um, suppositories. <laughs> I'm not gonna put them back in there because it's the weekend. And I did have relief, so thank Jehovah. I went to the bathroom. And this guy's, I don't know if you guys use this. This is Burt Bees. Told y'all, I love earth tone colors when it comes to makeup. So this is my Burt uh, Bert Bees and it's Solar Eclipse. And when I saw the name of it, I was like, oh yeah, I love it. Because I know y'all don't know this, but I am somewhat kind of into astrology, astronomy, not astrology. <laughs> Help me today because I can't get it right. I love, I have a telescope. I love standing outside in the wee hours of the morning, looking at stars and planets and the moon. I will put in some images I took right up here of the moon and planets, even though y'all might not be into that, but I am. So I'm into a lot of things. That's why I say this channel that I have is not just about one thing. Y'all will see me out fishing. Stay tuned, it's gonna get warm. Y'all gonna see me gardening. You guys are gonna see me doing a whole bunch of stuff that y'all gonna be like, I would've never thought you would do that. Oh yes, honey, I do that. Um, I want my fiance to take me hunting, but he won't. So y'all can come to the gun range with me one day. Um, Whatever, shooting BBs, you know, fishing. All those good things we're going to do on this channel together. 
y'all gonna watch me lose weight because I have to lose weight. I am like way too fat. But here's everything. Even though I just bored y'all to death with my story. But <laughs> it's not a story, it's the truth. Here's everything back like it would be. And to show you guys with all that, oh, I forgot to put this in there. I'm gonna go ahead and zip that. I think I have some wax paper. I'm gonna go ahead and try that wax paper thing out. Y'all wanna try it with me? Right now, like we can see if wax paper really, you know, makes the zipper smoother. So this is the bag all zipped up. And yes, as you can see, I do have some water damage on this bag. Again, this bag is 18 years old. It does have a lovely honey patina on it. I love it when it turns caramel color or tan or whatever color you want to call it versus the fresh. Because I hate that. But I do have a Speedy 35 coming. So I don't know how I'm going to. I probably won't even wear the bag because I'm going to be scared. The vaquette going to get messed up or vachetta, however you say it. But whatever. Let's see if this wax thing work. Okay, let's see how this wax thing works. Well, I just do that, y'all. What is this? I just put my hand in that soap. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. So, what they say do is you just take what take the wax paper and. Then this. Oh, that's noisy. The things we try because we see on the internet makes no sense. But we're going to try it out. My fiance is looking at me like, what in the world is she doing and why? And yes, you have to do both sides, they say. So, some people even say use beeswax. Um, I don't have no beeswax. The beeswax I have is for hair. So I don't think that works. I ain't gonna lie, I thought about rubbing some coconut oil or something. Alright. That should be good enough. And if not, I ain't gonna worry about it. I'll take the boys the time to ask them if they can put some WD-40 or something. I don't know. Alright y'all, moment of truth. Sure the zip was right. Oh uh, no. Nope. It's better. Oh, it's better. Okay. I'm about to wax this boy down when I finish this video. Oh, yeah, it even sounds better. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Did I lie? No. Mm. Sounds better. That is what's in my bag, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, this is the Alma PM. Thanks for watching.